No, stay where you are. Do not break the stillness of this moment. For this is a time of mystery. A time when imagination is free and moves forward swiftly, silently. This is... ScareFM.com 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 I'm in the hell demon, and your soul is mine. and frightening sounds echo through the halls. Whenever candlelights flicker where the air is deathly still, that is the time when ghosts are present, practicing their terror with ghoulish delight. Scare FM. I am Seymour, your ghost host. Scare FM provides you with spine chilling vintage haunted radio that originally aired in the early 1930s when TV was not an option. Our radio show comes from the archives of the sealed book, The Strange Doctor Weird, The Witch's Tale, The Blue Beetle, The Mysterious Traveler, and other vintage haunted radio archives provided to you exclusively by Scare FM. Scare FM is syndicated and streamed throughout the globe via iTunes, Blog Talk Radio, Facebook, Twitter, Blogger, YouTube, RSS feeds, and a host of other internet websites. Don't be frightened. Sit down. Relax as we unravel the mysteries of the macabre, only provided to you by Scare FM. Before we get started with our first episode, a word from the Scare FM advertisers. Hey, this is Daniel from the band Throne of Anguish, and I love Scare FM. Having a haunted house, Halloween party, or haunted event this year? Are you ready with all the best haunted sound effects, pumpkin teeth, and video effects? Find them all at soundsofterror.com. Sounds of Terror has everything you need to give your haunted house, party, or event the perfect sounds and visual effects. Don't wait. Go to Sounds of Terror. That's S-O-U-N-D-S-O-F-T-E-R-R-O-R dot com. Halloween is almost here. Prepare yourself. Soundsofterror.com Hi, this is John Hires, creator of John Hires Visual Effects. And we love listening to Scare FM. Are the plants in your home or business always underwatered and look half dead? Yeah, I know what you mean. Do you hate getting that potting soil on your clothes? Me too. Then you need to visit our friends at Hydrating Beads. Hydrating Beads are water beads that feed your plants 24 hours a day. Hydrating Beads come in 12 different colors to best suit your home decor. And the best part about Hydrating Beads is you no longer have to worry about watering your plants every single day. That's right, Hydrating Beads can water your plants up to 90 days without any maintenance whatsoever. No more mess, odor, slime, or continual maintenance. Grow your plants and flowers without soil. Visit them on the internet at hydratingbeads.com. That's H-Y-D-R-A-T-I-N-G beads.com. Hydratingbeads.com. 
Hey guys, this is Sean Gordon, director of The Oatmeal Man, and I love listening to Scare FM. Listen to Easy Way broadcasting shows powered by WTVNetworks.com every day of the week on Blog Talk Radio with celebrity hosts Eric Zuli, Shane Sparks, Sarah Winchester, Rick Rosman, and Mo Egger. Easy Way Broadcasting is the hottest place for music, sports, celebrity gossip, advice, and insider tips. Follow at Easy Way Broadcast. Call Easy Way Broadcasting shows with your questions and comments at 914-338-1303. Hi, this is Craig Hines, the evil genius from darkimaginings.com, and we love listening to Scare FM. Are you a home haunter? Do you own a professional haunted attraction? Is it important for you to have your customers come back year after year after year? Do you want to give your customers the best haunted experience possible? If you answered yes to any of those questions, then you need to get the visual effects at johnhiresvisualeffects.com. J-O-N-H-Y-E-R-S visualeffects.com. Turn your haunt from drab into fab. Get your effects today. Hi, I'm Tyler Ferroni, illustrator of The Garden of Sin, and I love listening to Scare FM. Hey, do you want to see something spooky? Then chop off your head and head on over to ToxicTunes.com and see all the new merchandise that Uncle Piggers has created for 2012. <laughs> he has Toxic Tune Monster Bags. He has Trick or Treat Bag Specials. He has Creepy T-Shirts. He has Weird Stickers. He has Ringworms. Oops, how did that get in there? He has Toxic Tunes art books and over 60 spooky prints of all his ghoulish artwork and lots more word creepy stuff. So much stuff, it's making my eyeballs drool just looking at it all. ToxicTunes.com So come and see why Uncle Piggers is fast becoming what Halloween needs. A nice creepy kick in the... <laughs> his merchandise is so spooky it will make your grandma fill up her already dirty diapers. ToxicTunes.com So head on over to ToxicTunes.com and tell him Scare FM sent you, and he might just throw in a surprise in your order. <laughs> This is a chainsaw-wielding maniac from Haunted Overload in Lee, New Hampshire, and we love listening to Scare FM. Hey, Andrew, have you looked at your electric bill lately? Yeah, Chris. I tried to avoid opening mine because it's scary. My electric bills have doubled and it's not even summer. Don't be a victim of high electric costs. Let True Power do a free in-home energy assessment today so we can help you fire the electric company. Hit your own home run with True Power and the Anaheim Angels by visiting us on the internet at truepowergoangels.com or call us directly at 714-676-8888. Call now. Hey guys, this is Eric Zuli, the Hollywood It Guy, doing it the easy way. I listen to Scare FM Radio, baby. It's a hot station. You should listen to it too. Thank you for listening to our advertisers. If you are thinking of advertising on Scare FM, simply go to scarefm.com for more information. Now it's time to listen to episode one.
present George Edwards in Frankenstein. Baron Frankenstein related his experiences to Captain Walton, the master of the Voyager, the vessel which was bound on a journey in polar exploration. While the Voyager was icebound, Captain Walton spent much time with Baron Frankenstein, who was gradually recovering his health. Oh, Baron Frankenstein, I thought perhaps you might care to look at my journal. I have noted your story down very carefully. If you will leave it, I will look through it, Captain. Uh, you do not mind if I make some annotation? Oh, not at all. I will be very grateful. I am glad that you have noted my story in your journal because something tells me that I will never return to civilization. You must not say that. You are recovering splendidly. I know, I know, but I dare not return until I am certain that the monster is dead. We know that he is somewhere out there in the white waste waiting to wreak his foul vengeance on some defenseless human being. You will pardon my contradicting you, Baron, but we do not know that. I think the monster must have perished in the blizzard. Uh, what part of my story did I reach yesterday? You were telling of your conversation with the monster. You met him after he had murdered the peasant, and he threatened to kill your wife unless you created a mate for him. Yes. Yeah. I sat there in the little peasant cottage, and I was horrified at the monster's words. He gazed at me for some time, and then I... Foul monster, you seek to arouse my sympathy. Do you not know that you have turned my wife against me? Had I but heeded her advice, you would never have lived. I came to destroy you the day after your creation, but I was too late. You had escaped, and you had already taken a life. I will take no more lives if you will accede to my request. When I left your home, I wandered through the woods, and there I saw the child whom you called William. As soon as he saw me, he screamed and sought to run away. But I seized him by the arm and spoke softly to him, bidding him not to be afraid. He told me that his uncle was Baron Frankenstein and that I would be punished if I harmed him. At the mention of your name, I trembled with rage. And in a fit of black rage and despair, I killed the child. Just as I shall kill all of your family unless you create for me a mate. I cannot bring myself to do such a thing. You are hideous and horrible. Were I to create another like you, I might unleash another horror on the world. My companion must be as deformed and horrible as myself. One from whom everyone will shrink and who will turn to me for comfort. But I cannot do it. You must do it, or I will work against you so that you shall curse the very day that you were born, so that you will curse those whose hands created me. I do curse them now. I seek to reason with you. You are my creator. Let me feel gratitude towards you. Let me see that I excite the sympathy of some existing being. Do not, I beg of you, deny me my reward. I have tried to paint for...